Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Teresa. I'm a content creator based right here in Nigeria. And if you love what you see already, consider subscribing to this channel by clicking that subscribe button below. Also, don't forget to turn on post notification because that will notify you whenever I drop a new content on this channel. And don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to share. Today's video will be checking out most peaceful countries in Africa. So if you are interested in such content, make sure you watch this video to the very end, okay? So the current peace and conflict rhetoric portrays Africa as a conflict zone continent with the world's greatest refugee and internal migration issue. The rhetoric stresses that it is an extremely improvised region that is prone to barely containable diseases, has been harmed by a colonial past, and is increasingly threatened by Islamic radicalism. Indeed, throughout the last two decades, Africa has experienced dozens of battles over a range of topics including land, resources, political power, money, security, religion, and identity. Deep differences over the nation's basic vision, fights over state society ties, and contests over who gets to lead are frequently at the heart of this conflict. However, these conflicts have ended in some of the African countries, such as Syria alone, Liberia, Cote d'Ivoire, Rwanda, Angola, Namibia, and South Africa. The Institute of Economic and Peace, that is, IEP Global Peace Index research shows a rising disparity between the world's most peaceful and least peaceful countries. The IEP is a non-profit think tank that focuses on peace as a positive, attainable and tangible measure of human development. There has been a major improvement in tranquility for the second time in a decade. For the second year in a row, countries like Iraq improved dramatically in the rankings so that brings us to the first country on our list which is mauritius over the year mauritius have maintained its position as the most stable and peaceful country on the african continent on a worldwide scale the country is ranked 28th most peaceful country in the world According to the Global Peace Index, the country held a peaceful election and achieved a high level of economic stability. Mauritius is a tiny Indian Ocean island. The African country has long been recognized as one of the most peaceful places on the planet. The government of Mauritius has implemented a number of initiatives aimed at promoting peace such as preventing firearms from entering into the wrong hands and reconciling religious and cultural gaps. The second country on our list is Ghana. Ghana is the most tranquil country in West Africa. It has seen few crises while increasing its riches, making it Africa's sole third world country. More importantly, the country is rich in natural resources including crude oil and gold. Unlike many other African countries, the country has enjoyed peace for many years due to its political stability. Despite the fact that Ghana is divided into various ethnic groups by religious, class and politics, the people live in peace and harmony. The third country on our list is Botswana. Botswana is the third most peaceful country in Africa and the 41st most peaceful country in the world. Stability is a key component that has contributed to the country's tranquility. The majority of African countries are transitioning from single party to multi-party forms of administration. Botswana, on the other hand, has been a multi-party democracy from independence. Botswana is a peaceful country with little to no political unrest, conflict or other forms of violence. Furthermore, the country has never faced any major key events that may lead to a dangerously more violent cause. Furthermore, unlike many African countries, this country 
has not seen significant sociological changes or the destruction of pre-existing colonial systems. The fourth country on our list is Syria alone. Syria alone was one of the world's most troubled countries between 1991 and 2002. A civil war erupted throughout the country, killing tens of thousands of people. The British military and the United Nations intervened to bring the country to a state of peace. Syria alone is now one of Africa's most tranquil countries, ranking fourth in Africa and 46th overall. Syria alone's government started on a peace-building program following the war. It began with the establishment of a Truth and Reconciliation Commission, followed by the rehabilitation of victims, the reconstruction of devastated communities, the provision of opportunities for people and the stabilization of the government and economy. The next country on our list is Gambia. The Gambia is Africa's fifth most tranquil country and the world's 53rd. Despite the country's fragile socio-economic and political climate, Gambia peacefully transitioned to a new political regime through democratic means in 2017 and elections have remained peaceful. The Gambia improved its overall rating by one of the most substantial margins. The next country on our list is Senegal. Because of the coexistence of various religious groups, Senegal is Africa's sixth most peaceful country and the world's 56th. Aside from religion, it has a long history of cultivating global diplomatic, financial and intellectual ties, all of which have contributed to its stability. Senegal has likewise had a stable democracy with peaceful leadership transfers. In contrast to several of its neighbors, the nation has never had a military coup. Although there has been a low-level civil war in Southern Casamance for three decades, it has not been big enough to break the country's stability. The cuisine of the nation is well known, combining French and North African influences with traditional local traditions. The next country on our list is Tanzania. So Tanzania is ranked number 7 in Africa and number 58 internationally on the list of peaceful nations. It's also the most tranquil country in East Africa. Tanzania's economy began to deteriorate rapidly two decades after independence. It then transitioned from a multi-party democracy to a single-party democracy. Tanzania quickly became a one-party dictatorship. Tanzania, despite its political climate, is a peaceful country with a civic peace culture. In Tanzania, there is no major source of conflict based on race, religion, ethnicity, or politics. The next country on our list is Namibia. Namibia is Africa's eighth most tranquil country. It is nonetheless the world's 62nd most peaceful country with an overall peace score of 1.861. Aside from the serenity, this land is home to a diverse range of species. In 1990, the nation declared independence from South Africa. It has had political stability since then, with no major external or internal confrontations. Namibian elections are often calm and orderly, despite the fact that they are competitive. Namibians also enjoy the right to peaceful assembly, which the government attempts to respect on a regular basis. The next country on our list is Equatorial Guinea. Equatorial Guinea is Africa's ninth most tranquil country. It is also ranked 68th among the world's most peaceful countries. Since its independence in 1968, the nation has had only two presidents. Theodore Obiang Nguema Bansogo, the current president, has been in the office since August 1979. He is the world's current non-royal national leader with the second longest period of uninterrupted service. Equatorial Guinea, although being a peaceful country, has trouble holding free and fair elections since it is a one-party state. The next country on our list is Malawi. Malawi is the tenth most peaceful country in Africa and one of the most peaceful countries in East Africa. The East African country is recognized as the 73rd most peaceful country on the planet. 
Malawi has risen to become Africa's seventh most peaceful country, passing Liberia and Namibia. Malawi has climbed six places to 59th place in the overall ranking. Surprisingly, the country is populated by people recognized for their friendliness, making it a popular tourist destination. The next country on our list is Zambia. Zambia, an African country in the south, is renowned for its illustrious history, varied fauna and tranquil atmosphere. Zambia is one of the nations in Africa with the highest levels of peace, according to the World Peace Index. The official language of Zambia is English and more than 72 ethnic groups have coexisted happily there for many years. In contrast to other African countries, Zambia boasts a stable political climate and a track record of conducting free and fair elections. Zambia's economy is mostly driven by agriculture and mining, with tourism also having a large impact. Its several national parks, including South Luangwa, Kafue, and Lower Zambezi, offer breathtaking views and opportunities to see animals, making it a highly favored location for lovers of the natural world. The last but not the least country on our list for this video is Liberia. Liberia is a nation in West Africa and it has a turbulent past marked by civil war and political strife. To achieve peace and stability, Liberia has advanced significantly lately and as a result, it is now regarded as one of the most peaceful nations in Africa. During a civil conflict that lasted 14 years and ended in 2003, the nation saw two peaceful changes of power before becoming a democracy. Liberia is also known for its role in peacemaking missions in other African countries, further demonstrating its commitment to regional stability. However, challenges still exist in Liberia, including high poverty rates, corruption and political polarization, which require continued efforts to sustain the country's peaceful status. So in conclusion, political leadership, sound peacekeeping practice, successful mediation and the supply of appropriate official capacities are only part of the equation for managing conflicts and maintaining peace in a country. The potential is also found in the interactions between the state and the society as well as among various identity and interest groups within a society. So that brings us to the end of this video. If you um, enjoy watching this or you find this video informative and you are yet to subscribe to this channel, kindly do so now by clicking that subscribe button below. Also, don't forget to turn on post notification because that will notify you whenever I drop a new content on this channel. Also, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to share. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay safe and remain blessed. Bye.